Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Throwback Thursday. I'm pretty excited to share this one with you. It is a, one of my favorites from Root, but before we go any further, a nail polish, I'm pre-filming uh, pre a couple of videos right now. This nail polish is super streaky. You're gonna see on the couple of videos I'm making right now and I don't think you're gonna see much longer. It is, I don't know from what collection I received this from my aunt. It's an OPI nail lacquer. Let's see if we can get this in focus. It's an OPI nail lacquer in the color. It is called Push and Purple. Um, it's a beautiful color. It's just super streaky and that's two coats. And uh, anyway, you will just see me wearing this a couple more times. All right, so this week's Throwback Thursday is brought to you by, and I apologize if I say your last name wrong, it's from Jasmine Acevedo. So Jasmine was the first to pick and this week's Throwback Thursday is one of my favorite candles from Root. Um, Root Legacy's Blue Basil. Now you'll notice that the packaging is different. They have uh, This is from last year, the receipt from, from my friend Josh. And um, they repackaged everything so everything is in, you know, in like the honeybee or the honeycomb um, jars or the lids and rose gold and things like that. So it's, it's virtually the same scent, same wax, it's just a different um, packaging. So, uh, before we go any further, we will discuss what Blue Basil is described by Root Candle. They describe Blue Basil as fresh chopped, rich blue basil with a clean, fresh blend of greens with spicy notes of surrounding garden herbs, ginger, clove, eucalyptus mixed with pure notes of the tomato leaf. Now, I have actually got another video, it's already on the Root um, playlist. Of, of me reviewing this candle. I love this candle. Now, the notes that I just read to you, I do not get any of that. I straight up get juniper, and in a good way. I don't get the cat pee <laughs> urine juniper. It's, it reminds me of growing up, and when I grew up, I had um, a really long, steep driveway that was lined on both sides of juniper bushes. They were so big and so over, like, I mean, we trimmed it for the driveway, but I mean, you couldn't see ground. <laughs> Um, the quail loved living in it and things like that. So anyway, um, I love the smell of juniper. So this one here in particular is candle in particular, sorry. Oops, sorry, I was right the first time. It is a 14 ounce jar, 397 grams in blue basil. It doesn't give me how many hours this burns, but I would say probably about 100 hours. So yeah. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Root Candle is made with beeswax. Um, all natural, what is it? Say? All natural beeswax blend. So it is a, a wax blend with beeswax. That's why you see all the smudgy marks along the side, but I truly do not care about that. If a Bath and Body Works, and lately they have, but if a Bath and Body Works candle did this smudgy mark, then I'd be concerned. But I know that this is how root candle, their candles melt. So I have no concern whatsoever. And um, this is how it's been. I have, I really have, I trim the wick a lot at the beginning, but lately it like it's hard to sort of show you right now. I might be able to trim the wick a little bit, but at this point it's actually in a decent shape. And you guys, there's no sitting. There's nothing so far. I am, if I go to down to, I'm about here in the candle, so I'm about halfway. Um, I love the color. This turquoise color is gorgeous. Love it. Um, the smell of juniper I love. Um, so on cold. I love the scent. It is like, you know, normally I'm not a green person. Normally I'm not into necessarily the pine, the spruce, the, that, you know, the greenery, but I really enjoy this one. It's just, it's like a perfect scent for me. It just reminds me nostalgia, right? It just reminds me of home. Um, so on, on, yeah, I'd say to give it a nine out of 10 for scent appeal and throw. This thing is awesome. You guys, um, I got quite a decent throw. This was burning in my kitchen. So part of the great room, kitchen, dining room, living room area, and I could smell this, and it just smelled like that perfect little bit of greenery. Um, not a, like I say, not pine, not cedar. It truly, to me, smells like a juniper bush, which I love. So I, I loved it. It was just, it was great. And the burn itself, as you can see, it's a little bit with root candles similar to uh, DW Home. They do burn like along the edges here. There's a little bit of a, a step down. But that will go away as it melts down. It that's how they tend to burn for me. Um, but of course, I'll give you a better review uh, upon the end of this candle's burn. Um, overall, the scent throw in quite a large room with other things going, I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10, which is great. 
Um, this is one of the root candles I know throws. Um, I really like it. That's part of the reason why I like it too. I know it throws really, really well. Um, yeah, I just really, I really love this candle, you guys. And I was so happy to receive this as a gift from Josh. Um, so what was I, okay. I did, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I think I got it all. <laughs> it's been so long since I'm filmed. I got sick there and I didn't film very much <laughs> for a while. So my apologies, but uh, I would definitely recommend this. I, again, am not a person who enjoys necessarily greenery scents, but I do enjoy this. So if you, if you want to go out on a limb, I know, I don't know if they have this particular scent in wax melts, but keep in mind, Root Candle Company also sells wax melts um, in various scents. I'm just not sure if it's in this one. So if you're a wax melter versus a candle burner, maybe that might be an option for you as well. So uh, anyway, I really enjoy this. Highly recommend this candle. I will look forward to burning the rest of this throughout the rest of the month and probably into December at this point. So, cause they do last quite some time. So again, thank you so much, Jasmine, for picking this week's Rebecca Thursday. And I sure hope I said your last name at least close. <laughs> All right. So you guys, this is the last pick for Throwback Thursday fall because next week I'm going to have a picture on my Instagram of the lineup of items that I have to burn and to melt as well um that week we'll be picking your very first winter i'm so excited i haven't finalized the group yet um i'm gonna have a lot to choose from so but a good healthy choice between candles and wax melts because i tend to have more candles for fall winters if you hadn't noticed this fall fall throwback thursday there was a lot of candles versus the summer just because i have more of it in my stock <coughs> pardon me all right so first person down below to select one of these either wax melts or the only candle I have left, uh, feel free to make your comment down below and I'll acknowledge you and let you know that uh, I'll be burning or melting you, your choice. So go with the wax melts. We have Sassy Girl Aromas <laughs> Sweet Potato Pie. Destination Wax Zucchini Bread Apple Pumpkin. Kirshner's Creations Pumpkin Pie Supreme Hippie Corn. And the last candle we have is a Yankee candle and from the Home Classics. It is Spice Cupboard. So you guys, that is everything. Thanks so much for joining me. I am really looking forward to burning the rest of that root candle. And I cannot wait to share with you what I do decide to finalize for the Throwback Thursday Winter Edition. And uh, as always, you guys, be safe and have fun. Take care, everyone.